any open forum is uh, for any comments by individuals present. Um, Dr. Joseph, you have two, two minutes. Um, first off, I would like to ask why the tape's off. Is it the tape off still? Tape is on now. Tape is on now, okay. Thanks to a new public law, the doors were open to recording devices today at a meeting of the Guam Board of Allied Health Examiners, opening a window on an ongoing feud between the board and wise owl veterinarian, Dr. Joel Joseph. This board has not followed through on the things that the board has said it will do. If the board makes a declaration or resolution, the board is supposed to follow through on that. Okay? The board has not followed through on the resolution from Vice Chair uh, Sybil Grisosmo requiring a letter of uh, apology to me. The board, excuse me, I'm talking. The chair, the, uh, the board has not followed through on the request from the uh, oversight committee for, for Mr. Highsmith to submit the explanation of why uh, my license was sent to the National Veterinary Licensing Board or why it wasn't. And you were to clarify why my license has not been cleared or why it was ever reported to the licensing board when all those charges have been vacated or otherwise nullified. But before getting what he asked for, Dr. Joseph launched into a challenge of the qualifications of board chair Dr. Mamie Balahaja. Has the Guam Board of Allied Health ever required a person for clinical psychology not to be a graduate of a college of psychology or the equivalent? I know where this is going. Dr. Joseph has raised the issue over and over again. We've explained to him why he is mistaken. We have given him the interpretation of the law. It was given to the Guam legislature when he was present. Actually, it was. And uh, sir. you're interrupting me. And the, <coughs> the fact of the matter is, Dr. Joseph is just off the mark on the law. So he's attacking the chairperson's qualifications, and he's just wrong. The board has no authority to investigate the qualifications of its own members. It couldn't do anything about Dr. Balahaja if it wanted to. And then he went after fellow veterinarian Dr. Velma Harper. I'm also asking why this board has not bothered to follow through on any complaints regarding Dr. Harper. No, we need to interrupt him right now. We've dealt with all these issues six, eight, ten times in the past. They're all dead letters. The board decided not to prosecute or investigate Dr. Harper years ago. When his time was up, Dr. Joseph's son, Ben, raised the issue of whether the board members were properly seated. You know you're supposed to be appointed by the governor because you just told me that. So, none, anyone? No, the, I don't know. part of the law is inorganic. Okay. And you get this from the attorney general? I wrote the opinion. I you wrote, wrote the, the attorney opinion. general. You wrote the opinion. Yes, that's, and that's approved by the attorney your, general. Your you stop interrupting. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. And what about those sexual harassment allegations against a certain chiropractor? There is no allegation that uh, the chiropractor in question touched anyone's private parts or uh, made offensive remarks to anyone. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.